Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to transform a 24 FPS clip into a slow motion clip. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and in my timeline I have a clip shot uh, in 24 FPS. As you may know, usually to get slow motion, you need to shoot at a higher frame rate, uh, you know, either 30, 50, 60, 120, uh, 240 and more. That's something you need to think about while shooting and take into account that you will need to slow it down in post or shoot directly in slow-mo while you're shooting but for this specific shot i shot most of the project at 24 fps i didn't add so much slow-mo but my client asked me to have this footage in slow-mo and i'm going to share with you how to do that there is a workaround to transform 24 fps footage and still make it slow more obviously it's not the best uh, you can lose in sharpness and it will not apply in every situation but very often it does the job and it can really save you in some situation so here if i were to slow this down i will just hit command r on my keyboard to show the speed control in the timeline and here i will just click there and change the speed to maybe 25%. Now, if I try to play this, as you can see, it's very, very choppy and it's unusable. You cannot use that because what we've done essentially is stretching out 24 FPS uh, divided by four. So now we only have uh, six frames per second, uh, which is just terrible. It doesn't work, but we can make it slow-mo by here going in the inspector and go down in retime and scaling. And here we can select optical flow and speed wrap and basically what you're gonna do you're gonna just add some frame in between so we end up with 24 uh, frame per second and slow more clip instead of six frame per second like we have right now be aware though that it's gonna be very taxing on your machine so right now as you can see i'm not gonna be able to get a uh, real-time playback so i'm gonna just render this in place so i can show with you a before and after so here i'm just gonna click on render in place select the color that i want for this case i'm just gonna uh, use apple ProRes. Uh, 422 LT but use whatever codec you are familiar with and then I'm just gonna hit render I'm just gonna select where I want it to be rendered and I'm just gonna render the clip now I'm gonna save you the rendering time so now you can see the comparison between the three clips so here is the first clip at full speed now here is the clip slowed down at 25 without optical flow and here is the clip slowed down at 25 with optical flow as you can see, it's not perfect. You lose into sharpness in some places. And at some point when there is a sudden movement, you can have a bit of blur on the face of the girl right here. But overall, it does a very good job and it can really uh, get you out of tricky situation when you need to have slow-mo and you shot in 24 FPS. It obviously got some limitation. It works best, obviously, with clips that don't have so much movement and that have uh, movement that are not too complicated. So, you know, a simple panning, right, uh, tilting, etc., will be fine. But any following shot, I think, will be quite tricky. Or, for example, here I have another shot that uh, we shot at 240 FPS that is already slowed down, uh, but it's still, you know, quite quick of an action. I would like it to be more froze in time. So, I tried to apply optical flow to it but there is just too much movement too much elements and you just definitely lose uh, in sharpness uh, there is a bunch of things that are blurry and it definitely doesn't work as good nonetheless optical flow is a very great tool to use in certain scenarios and as i said it can really help you in tricky situation i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates but only for davinci resolve Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.